Jason M. What's up guys, Jason M with the video for you guys today and it's been a long time I've had my LG G2. Um, you know the biggest letdown has been the software since it's had a great camera, great design, great everything but the software hasn't been the greatest. And now there's actually a way a developer did and this transforms your LG G2 into an LG G4. At the current time this is running Android 4.4.2 using a custom ROM actually that's why I have this theme and everything going but I can turn this into the G4. Now you need to back up your data, that's for the first step of this tutorial. And I usually use a USB OTG cable, that's to back up my data. Also an app called My Backup Pro can help you back up your data. Or you can use LG's built-in backup plan. This is also very good as I did back up my data earlier and um, I backed it up on my USB drive. For rooted users you can also use recovery and I'll advise you to keep all your backup files on your computer right now because this is what you actually need to do then you need to update your device now to lollipop updating your device to lollipop is a little bit complicated but follow my guide you turn off your device then after you hold the volume up button connect your usb and after doing this you're going to notice your device going to go into download mode in download mode now you move to your computer and then you open your flash your flash tools here after opening flash tools you need to navigate to where you kept the kdz firmware file i'm using the vodafone you can use any one you want so far as it matches your model then you can see here my drivers have not been properly installed if your drivers are not properly installed what's going to happen is you will not be able to install anything no matter how hard you try and you can do this by checking in device manager um, you download the drivers for your lg g2 and once you're properly installed you can start flashing you hit normal flash then you're going to hit start and then everything just becomes so easy from here you hit ok then after hitting ok now you should be ready to go and your ROM should start flashing this is going to flash and turn your device into a lollipop device and um, it's going to take a while so I'll be back when this is done When this is done your device is going to reboot this reboot shouldn't take more than five minutes if it takes more than five minutes it means you have a soft break so to undo this you have to put off your device hold the volume down and power buttons when you see the lg logo leave the volume down keep holding the power buttons and then you're going to enter into this mode in this mode now this is a factory data reset mode and then you use the volume down to navigate to yes and you hit the power button to confirm that's you're going to do a factory reset. A good tutorial will be available in the description. It will be longer and more explicit because this is actually a very longer tutorial but you need to follow it accordingly. Next step is installing recovery. Installing recovery is pretty easy so far as you have root using the previous tutorial I said links in the description. You're just going to have to copy the APKs and APK file you copy it to your device and you make sure you also copy that APK file along with um, the LG G4 software. It's going to be called Cloudy G2 3.1 or 3.0 whatever it's going to be at the time you're downloading. Then you install the APK file for the recovery. This is Autorec. That's the name, Autorec. Then you're just going to have to accept the installation process and you make sure to wait for it to be done. And when this is done now, you're just going to open the app. Opening the app, of course, because you have root, you should be able to be asked for super user permissions. When super user asks you for permissions, you grant it and you wait for everything to get prepared. When everything is prepared, you hit flash twerp twrp and then you should be flashing and you should get the confirmation once everything is done. Once it's done, you know it's done and there is nothing really here to wait for, so you have to go to the Play Store and download QuickBoot. When you download QuickBoot, this helps you reboot into recovery or any other mode easily. So we're just going to do a factory wipe here. You factory wipe your device, that's not going to take long at all. Then you're also going to install now the ROM. You install this by just hitting install and then you swipe over to flash. You hit next. Then you're going to have to in our installation. You choose your model number. Mine is T802. Then you're going to choose the files also that you want to install on this. So I want to install ad blocker because I hate ads. Sorry devs. 
and then um, I'm also going to install global APN and now what I'm going to do is hit next because I think that's all I decided to choose for this then I'm going to wait for this to install this installation is done all you need to do now is reboot your device after rebooting your device you're successfully into um, the LG G4 software this is Android 5.0.2 by the way not 5.1 as you guys may have seen G4, but it has every single thing that's on the LG G4. And if it doesn't, the dev keeps on adding everything on the G4 with constant updates. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, of course, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe for more videos on my channel. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.